just sum it up at the minute? Uh, well, it's, it's hard to sum up. It's, it's pretty good. And like, coming off, coming, yeah, as, as you said, so close yet so far. And you're talking the difference in margins um, within the game. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty hard to take, obviously. Start of the week when you had to bounce back against Scotland and play well, and we did that. And then we needed a few things to go away this week, and they and they did. And we prepared and we're ready for this game. And um, yeah, we just didn't quite the right side. Was it just a case of not getting enough runs on the board? Um, partly, yeah. I think I thought we applied ourselves pretty well. And we knew it was going to be quite a slow wicket, and obviously they was going to give a bit of assistance to a couple of their lads. But uh, it was probably. Uh, Probably two, two or three out of the first four wickets, like we, we could have made them work a bit harder for. Um, so that's probably this point thing. I'll start that off on my own with the first dismissal and things like that. We, I think if we had gotten partnerships, a couple of big partnerships, and set it up for the back end, it was still never going to be easy um, having to do on that on that pitch. But uh, I think we had set it up reasonably to a large extent. And if you have those couple of little partnerships for the extra few overs, you probably you make up those 15, 20. Maybe 25 runs would probably make the difference in the end. And the bowling, um, obviously they were paced their innings to perfection. And we were containing them well enough, so we just couldn't get enough wickets. So you happy just to use the five bowlers in the end? Were you ever tempted to? Oh, I was, to was tempted two or three times for Sturlo and, and Kev, and then we'd get a wicket or something would look good and go away. And like, there was two or three times there, at least, where I thought I would bring Kev on and Sturlo. Uh, I just never really materialised, and Simi came on a couple of times and got a breakthrough, and then, um, didn't really let them settle for too long because I think that that kind of batting lineup that can get they just explode at any time. They can look to take someone down. So um, yeah, there could have been a couple of occasions where we could have gotten Kevin in the game or could have gotten Sterlo in the game with the ball, um, but I was generally happy with how we went about it. Uh, Obviously, Shazzy got them off to a bit of a start, which helped a lot. And they would clawed that back in the middle. It had been easy to give up at, at 80 for one or 90 for one, whatever it was, two down. So it was a great fight back from, from then on. But obviously, you feel in the game when Shazzy's playing like that, there's, you're not far away of one going up. But uh, fair play to him and, and how he went about it. And set, as I said, set up that platform for them and made it a hell of a lot easier coming down the back end. What was it like at the end there, having to face Phil Simmons and John Mooney coming down the line at you? Ah, oh, look, it's the business we're in there, it's a professional environment now, and, and uh, fair play to the two of them, like Sim was obviously had a long eight years of ourselves, Mooners had a great playing career with us, and, and that's a professional sport, um, look, I, there was nothing really said coming off when I shook hands with both of them, like, I, think we're, I think Mooners was a bit emotional as well, like, it's, it was probably hard for him, if, I know if I was sitting on the other side of the fence I would find that hard to take regardless who was coaching, um, but as I said, it's a professional environment we're in, we're in and Look, you see how they threw themselves around the field, so I'm sure Mooners has had that impact um, throughout the tournament. There was a montage went up at, at drinks, I think, or at about the halfway point in the big screen, and about how many runs they saved in the field. And, and look, that makes a big difference as well. Like they, from the montage was up there, they probably saved 12, 10, 12 runs at least, 15 runs, and that, that makes a big difference coming down the back end. In, in hindsight, do you think um, batting first was the right decision? Yeah, I think if we get, a, if, as I said, if we get an extra 20, 25 runs, it, it becomes, it was never getting easier throughout the day to bat on. They, they've, they've wetted the wickets here every night pretty much throughout the comp and they've been tacky in the morning to, to keep them together and that one didn't get that. So it was fairly dry and, and uh, yeah, it was, just, it was always going to be slightly difficult. Like they're a good bone attack. Um, but yeah, as I said, I think we could have gotten that extra 20, 25 runs and if we'd have gotten there, um, not necessarily saying it might have been enough, but I think it would have put a lot more pressure on them, and I think it would have we would have gotten over the line from that. Missing out on the World Cup is obviously a, a, a big blow, but um, Ireland is now a Test nation. Do you do you sense that there's there's a path for Irish cricket to keep progressing despite the the loss of the World Cup qualification? Yeah, well, look, there's a lot of things on the on the horizon. It's obviously disappointing um, losing out on that. And, Look, to some extent, we're we're lucky. Um, we've managed to get where we are. Like, you, I feel sorry for Scotland how it ended for them, but they go back now and they've got a couple of like what probably got three games of cricket this summer. One against England, one against Pakistan, I think maybe. And like for them to progress, I think it's going to be harder. I think we've we've got a pathway as hard as it is to keep drip feeding money out to to improve facilities and and things like that from the ICC. It, I feel sorry for a lot of other teams that are leaving here. Obviously, ourselves in Afghanistan got elevated, which we're, we're grateful for. But it's like anything; we need we need to keep 
to, as I said, getting funding in to improve facilities, get those extra fixtures. And as I said, we leave here. Yes, we've we got it now. But in a couple of weeks' time, when we regroup, um, we're going to have to build up towards the test match. And we've got a few other fixtures throughout the summer in Afghanistan are back over and things like that. But um, it's been a fantastic tournament. Hi, there's only two teams going to a competition that's played every, what, 208 weeks. You've got a six-week competition and to, to just play it with so that two or three big teams can play nine games on TV so the ICC can cash in with a big check. And a lot, of, a lot of teams are leaving here with nothing in their pocket. Like Nepal got an ODI status. There's a lot of teams that have missed out on things. And as, as I mentioned, Scotland comes so close yet so far themselves. But what have they got to look forward now for the next few years? Like It's going to be so hard for them to to try and get money out of the ICC to improve everything that, that revolves around Scotland. Like we got the opportunity in 2007 to play in a World Cup and, and we knocked out Pakistan and we drew with Zimbabwe and we got to the Super, super 8s and we beat Bangladesh. We, we took down England in 2011 with a couple of games over four years, the same building up 2015. We played nine games against full members. Like It's not hard. Like The big check that they're getting now for India getting nine games on TV, England getting nine games and Australia getting nine games, that has to be pushed back down through. Like all I hear is how good this competition has been and how everyone's beat everyone. It's gone around a circle. Um, it has to be put back into the game. Like because if, if countries don't have a World Cup look, to look forward to, or the possibility of getting a World Cup, they tried to make it a ten-team World Cup last time with no qualification. It's not a ten-team World Cup with two spots. But if if they actually give that carrot down out in front of countries, then it, surely cricket's going to get better in those countries and actually expand. But it's. I'm not just saying that because we didn't get there, um, but it's, I feel sorry for a lot of countries that are leaving here that they don't know what's going to happen next week. Thank you very much, Scott. Cheers.